Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Lumberjack's Dynasty. It's a new game that came out on Steam a couple of days ago. I was checking it out. Uh, it looks pretty interesting. I thought I'd uh, give it a whirl. Uh, what this is, is this is uh, a logging simulator. Uh, I think I might have seen an early preview of this uh, a while ago on another channel, but basically what we are is we're a lumberjack. We're, uh, we're doing logging. We're starting... Uh, Step more. We're actually here to take care of our aunt and uncle's uh, logging industry, farm, business, whatever. Uh, as you can see, there are th some repairs and things we're going to have to do in the game. Apparently, it's not only just a, a logging simulator, but there's uh, business and sort of life management involved in it as well. Apparently, there are some sort of vitals, like we got to eat and drink and sleep and all that stuff, and we're about those good things, but it uh, looks pretty interesting. I'll check it out, and uh, here we are. So let's go see our aunt and see what she's got to say. I have played through the uh, tutorial already, this first little part here, so I already know what's going on. Great to see you. It's been years, but you've grown up so handsome. We both missed you. It's nice to see you too. You look great as always. Looks like me, just not enough gray. Looking forward to staying with you. Well, thank you. You'll have our old house. No, except I'm not wearing a flannel shirt. Not yet. I'm Canadian, I should be. It's a lot easier to keep tight. Anyway. You want to sell most of your property? Yes, we're looking for a buyer for the house and the lumber mill. We haven't got the it is early access. You probably see the little texture missing and Auntie's glasses there. Whatever you need me to do. You realize that, don't you? Oh, thank you. You're so kind. I'm indeed worried about your uncle. He's too old to be out working in the forest, doing all the heavy lifting himself. I can imagine. Uh, he doesn't do the heavy lifting himself. <laughs> no. Follow me. I will show you everything. Alright, so let's follow her. Uh, yes, uh, talking animations could be a little bit better. Um, I'm sure some things will change in the time. Thank you for interrupting me. And the other game mechanics from what I've seen are okay. There's some good ones, some bad ones. Well, I won't say bad ones, some that could be a little bit improved, but it's fairly easy. I haven't gotten too far into the game. I've had like 20 minutes of gameplay, so oh, no. we'll be checking it out together. Is he okay? Should I say my seat? Your uncle has a problem in the forest. Could you please get over there and see what's wrong? Yes, of course. Where can I find him? He's in a clearing behind the sawmill. I am sure you'll find him right away. Take our old pickup. It's parked in front of the house. Will do. See you later. I would say this is similar to, to Gold Rush, except we're not mining gold. We're actually cutting down trees, and of course, we start with a beaten up old pickup truck. This one's actually worse than the one in Gold Rush. Uh, I don't know if we can get hit by cars, but let's not make it ha let it happen, shall we? All right, and we do can change camera view. Uh, I like to be a little further out when I'm driving. And it's a little easier to do shoulder checks. You know, I don't want to scratch. Just don't want to scratch Uncle's car here. Truck. She called it a car, even though it's an actual pickup truck. No, I don't have a license. It's the horn. No, it's not age. That's a shame. Could have flashed the lights, though. Uh, it is open world, so it's basically do whatever you want. There's a storyline you can follow if you want. Uh, but it's basically building a logging empire. Uh, you can repair and up upgrade buildings and machinery, as far as I know. There's a whole bunch of different machines and equipment you can buy as you progress in the game. So we'll be checking this out. But here we are. Yeah, we can get out. And we go find Uncle in the mud here. Hello, lad. Good to see you. Nice to see you too, dear Uncle. Aunt Grace told me you have a problem. The guy should be on a fishing boat, not in the woods. Can you help me? Sure, no problem. What do you want me to do? Get on the tractor and try to attach the trailer. Let's see if you can get it out of the water. Uh, so far, uh, operating equipment like this is fairly straightforward. It's actually overly simple, I think, but I have a feeling this might be the least of my worries, but we shall find out. We'll just back her up here, and good brakes on it. We hit Q, automatically connect it, and let us drive. Alright, so we have to go... Oh yeah, we're, that's right, we're just pulling out of the mud. I mean, I could pull it out and you couldn't, really. Well done. You have some skill, you know that. 
But this is just the beginning. Let's see if you remember how to handle a tree this time. Nice look of shock on his face there. Yes, I know early access. Okay, uh, hurry up. Let's get to the fun part. Oh, this isn't the fun part. The machines we get will be the fun part. The chainsaw. Still remember what I taught you. Be careful. Uh, actually, I don't, so this could be a problem. We'll pick up the chainsaw, and then we go to this tree here. And then we actually have to use the mouse and fall, uh, get the chainsaw blade to follow the, the marker. So it does sort of have some interaction, and there's something well, we have called engineer's vision. Or engineer sight, as you can see in the upper right there. Yeah, no, I didn't quite figure this. Are you done yet? Yeah. Alright, so I didn't know what to do at first. I know we got to cut the branches off, but I thought we had to cut individual ones off. But when you're holding any type of tool in your hand, if you hold the right mouse button down, it'll show you the actual nodes you got to go for. You don't have to have it up to actually show it, so we'll go ahead and cut the branches off, and then it's going to be over here. Cut that off, and then there was one over here. Okay, so that's that, and then it shows us the, the splitting points. Let me go ahead and cut it into sections here. Of course, you can just want walk by and wait for the prompt to show up. Alright, so... Let me get back into the tractor. I don't know how to actually take this thing out of my hand. I know I have an inventory, but I have nothing else to switch it to. Alright, uh, let's actually just swing around. Let's change view here. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. There's a transmission. This thing actually has a turbo, believe it or not. It's pretty good speed. Mind you, I haven't had this thing fully loaded yet. So I'll actually get back out of this camera. And then this is basically really simple you just hold the mouse left mouse button and you just use the mouse to move the thing over you drop it down you close you hit enter and pick it up you don't have to worry about rotating it anywhere you just drop it in like so go ahead and drive a little bit forward you don't have to change transmissions or anything like that so it's pretty good and apparently you can do it on the fly too all right and drop the log there oh yeah that's what happens when you close the mouse button and we'll pick you up, and like so, we'll put you back down, and let's see, now we gotta go, let's actually get back into first person, it's a little easier to drive this thing, with the camera switching around with the trees in the way, so we just gotta go over here and we just gotta dump them in the river, pretty simple. I don't know if the music's appropriate for this kind of thing, but... I just want to make sure it parked a little, a little bit better. All right, and then same thing. We just go ahead, pick up the logs, and we just dump them in the river just like that. Grab the other one. Be you nice know, if you grab more than one at a time. But this is just starter stuff, right? And like so. Now there is more things we can do besides just logging, and. Auntie will explain that to us once we get there. Alright, so let's, uh... You're welcome. Yes, he's sitting on my lap. Isn't that funny? Eh? He's Canadian. Of course. Game about... A game about lumberjacks, of course, it's a Canadian game. Oh, sure. You just want me to stick around for a week and work on your stuff for you. Okay, nobody's coming. Good. Oh, so far, it's, it's not bad. I do like it. We'll see how things go. Uh, let's stop here. This time, I'll block the traffic like I did last time. You gotta love it. The tractor's still rolling. Uh, okay. Yep, we gotta go in here and close the gate just in case the dog we don't have gets out and go see Auntie. Hello, boys. Did you sort it out? Yes. It was a refreshing experience. I love LJ. Who's LJ? That's what it says on his hat. Uh, yes, let's have a little look around. I would love to have a look around. Okay. 
Oh, look. There's a tree there. Oh, that's a greenhouse, apparently. Now, you can actually pick the apples off those trees and eat them for food. See? There you go. Let's see, you can see apples and see different things you place. Yeah, see, again, if I get the engineer's site up, it'll show that I can actually place beehives here. So it's somewhat open, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but yes, you do have to place them in certain areas. And then things like greenhouses and stuff. And then... Yes. I'll have to check the recording after this. I might have to increase her video a little, or her voice, the, the voice volume a little. Uh, let's go in here. Let's go check it out. In fact, I might actually do that right now. Okay, I turned the, the voice volume and the game sounds up a little bit more. But as you can see, like the, I'm sure once we upgrade this thing and do repairs, we'll be able to use the air compressor and the tool chest and wheel balancer. Cool. Second floor up here too. I don't know what's up here, but uh, as you will find out in a moment here once we pick up the trusty nail gun That's our tool so you found something. Good. Now you can try it out. Do you think you can fix this wall? I can fix anything you want. So yeah, you hold you bring the engineer side up. It tells you what needs repairs uh, the the building and repairs is a little different in this. You can't just go ahead and repair here. You actually have to go towards these hammers. So on this this section here, you have to put a nail there. Well, two nails actually, and a nail up there, and the wood magically fills itself in. I've seen that up here. It'd be these two two marks up here, one there, and one there. So in other words, she's saying, Yes, but as I was saying, uh, yes, we can actually, not only the, can we cut down our own wood, but we can use the wood that we make and cut, uh, yeah, the wood that we cut into planks, we can actually use it to actually repair everything, so that comes in handy, and now the next part of this interesting thing. Extravaganza. Oh, nephew, can you come over and visit for a week or two, please? We really miss you. Oh, can you fix this? Can you fix that? Can you fix this? Can you do that for me? No, I'm just joking. Anyway, let's grab the scaffolding. And uh, the scaffolding, as you can see, automatically placed in certain areas. But if you can, if you hold the right, uh, bring up the engineer's site, it'll show you all the places you can build it around every single building. So I thought that was pretty interesting, too. So it does have some sort of uh, freedom instead of just like place a scaffold in here, and there you go. You have, if you only have one scaffold, you can place it here and there and there. Uh, here, I did place it here originally, but we only need it here, so we'll do that. Uh, I don't know what the red is for. I think that's just letting me know it's not anchored to the ground, that it's a, a floating structure. So if I hit it with the tractor, and I will, it will come down. Uh, let's get this out of my hand. Uh, I don't know how to actually proper, properly equip it, so I just do that. And now we got to hop up on the roof, and we don't actually have to do that. We'll put a couple of nails in there. Oh. We'll do that. And I don't know if fall damage is a thing, we'll find out eventually. This house needs renovating too, but it should be cozy enough for you as it is. I'm sorry we can't offer you anything better, but at least you'll have a bedroom, a kitchen, and a bathroom. You can cook for yourself and relax in the evenings. So what? If I fix this place, it's mine, I can sell it, property included? Cool. Anyway, show me what's next. I didn't even realize I had the depth of uh, field view on. It's actually really interesting. Sure 
I'm sure they'll get to know Lee quite well. Yes, as I was saying, stamina is a thing, or uh, condition is a thing, basically. Stamina, when your stamina gets low, you start getting clumsy, you don't work as well as you could, or as efficiently, and stuff like that. But uh, this is basically it for the first part, anyways. So we got a whole bunch of stuff we can work on if we bring up a map. Uh, this is the map that we have to work on. It's actually, it's actually quite big. Uh, I have no idea what all these things are. And gas stations, place to drop off logs, that's a farm, we got the, a beach or something, general store, different vehicles come by, and yes, these are actual logging claims we can purchase or rent or whatever, so that's quite interesting, it's uh, going to be interesting to see where this all goes and what kind of equipment they have in the game. Okay, I was going to call it here, but I looked at the time. We we got a few more minutes so we can go do a little bit more stuff. Uh, we already checked the house out. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. The floors are garbage, I'll admit that. But you go in here, got some nice cabinets in here. I don't know if we can interact with them or not. Look at this kitchen. You go and spend the money on this kitchen, you can't even put, replace the floor. Really? Jeez. People, I tell you. I know, they're family. What can you do, right? Bit of family. Anyway, uh, let's go run upstairs and take a bit of a nap. I see anything? Got all this nice furniture around here and the floors rotting out. Uh, probably should take this tool out of my hand because I can see everything that needs to be fixed. Was that take two weeks? What? Take a, take a week's rest. That's something new I've never seen in the bed. All right, now we gotta go back to Auntie. Yeah, I really gotta stop carrying this thing around. It was like, I guess it's better than better than the chainsaw. Okay, what is this? Skills. Uh, do we have any points? So yeah, here's our condition: food sixty-one, sleep one hundred. Uh, so we will have to eat eventually. Uh, uh, let's see. Basic changes. I have. Okay. That's just quests and all that stuff. So let us go back to Auntie. She's 177 meters of that away. Let's go run before she gets away. Really wish there was a way you could take something out of your hand. Uh, let me actually check that. I figured it out. I figured it out with the chainsaw, actually. Uh, you click on it, and it actually goes to put away. That's how we do it. Anyway, let's go see what she has to say. That's why I always look both ways before crossing the street. Or dashing across like a madman, like I always do. Alright. Hello, Auntie. How are you? Uh, let's be polite. Yeah, apparently there's potions in the game. I have no idea what they're used for, but we're fighting a dragon down the road. Alright, uh, uh... Let's ask her something. Let's see what we've got to say. What do you want to know? Uh, let's see. Let's find a little greenhouses. much quicker than they do outside. You can buy seedlings and seeds in the store to plant them in the greenhouse. If you look after your vegetables, water them well and keep them warm. They will grow quickly. Of course, you can use homegrown vegetables in two ways. Cook them or sell them. Okay. Animals. You can keep cows and hens in the barn you saw on the farm. 
perhaps even geese or ducks. Just think of it, having your own eggs and milk. Good food and good profit, too. You have to collect the eggs and milk the cows yourself every morning, but I'm sure you'd really like the real farm life here. You could also keep a cat who keep mice and rats away. Maybe a rooster if you're fancy. And of course, a dog is your trusted companion. A lot of people around here keep sheep, too. Naturally, there is more work with them, but sheep are so lovely. Oh god, so much you can do in this game. Alright, what's next? Uh, can you tell me about gardening? Tell me about gardening. There's a small orchard there already, and the apples are delicious. You could always put up some scarecrows to keep thieving birds away. You can also grow some flowers, if you want to. I'm sure they would look great on your farm. Talking of flowers, you could make an old dream of mine come true and make your own honey too. That would be wonderful. Okay, yeah, well, that's where the the ones I showed you were the apples there. Uh, cooking tips. Uh, uh, I'll worry about that later. Well, the apples like Minecraft. Friendly. So get around and talk to people. You can also ask Charles here. He knows everybody around here and should be able to tell you who could probably use a little help. All right, let us head off. Look after yourself. Okay, talk to Uncle. Need me to help you with something? Well, yes, actually. That was a far walk. Christine is left in the forest. Christine. She's not worth much, but it would be a shame if somebody stole her. Would you mind driving her back here? You gotta love that music. Alright, uh... 400 meters that way. I guess we're gonna have to hoof it there. Uh, I don't think we actually have a tow truck, or I should be using a tow truck. Uh, usually it says on the map, it says go for your uncle's pickup. Alright, uh, that's what we'll do. Shouldn't take too long, it's only half a K. Let's see what else we got along the way. I see smoke. Hope there's nothing burning down yet. Uh, can I get through here? No, I can't. Oh, playground here. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Uh, well, I don't expect anything interesting. I'll bring you back when I get there. Okay, here we are. Yes, yeah, was the same stupid old Christmas pickup we got. All right. Uh, drive back to the uncle. Our uncle. Let's see if I can do this right without destroying it. Uh, I don't see a health indicator, so I'm assuming I'm invincible. Let's not find out, shall we? I'm missing a mirror. But, ooh. Uh, uh, that's a fixed camera. I don't like that. That's where the, the camera moves with the vehicle. It's not too bad if you actually anticipate it, so you sort of move the mouse with the camera. Or else you do things like that. I don't know if I can actually <laughs> destroy this thing. Again, that's something we'll find out eventually. Okay. We'll bring it back here. And talk to Uncle. Where's Uncle? Uncle is over here. See, that's why I always leave him open. You don't have to close them again. The car, like you asked. Thank you. That was an interesting camera shot. You could use the truck more than I do now. Why don't you use her while you're here? She's not much, but I'm sure you'll like her. You should go and see Oliver. Last time we talked, he mentioned something about his barn that needs some repairs. Perhaps you could help him. I actually feel bad about asking you. You've seen our old house and things. They're all in really bad condition. Could you bring them back to life? What do you think? Help us, old folks. We will share the extra profit, but only after we sell it. I cannot afford to pay you at the moment. If you help, you will live comfortably while you stay here. Very interesting camera angle. All work and no pay. Sorry, Uncle. That's not for me. Oh, no. I, let's be nice here. It's not the point of the game. I spotted a rather strange looking man down by the river. He hid in the bushes when he saw me. Could you please check on him? I'm Sam a little scared. Will do. See you later. I thought she said I Sam a little scared. But anyways, I think that might actually be a good place to 
call it. We'll go check out those things in the next episode. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, you can check it out in Steam. Uh, links in the description below. Uh, it's Lumpjack's Dynasty. And uh, yeah, with that, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Come in. There you go. Later.